What's poppin' kings and queens of YouTube? My name is Tinta King, and I'm coming at you today with a brand new reaction video. I'm here, I'm a little bit late, but we're here, okay? We're reacting to Oliver Tree. We love Oliver Tree here. I could not let this album go without reacting to it. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. If you're from my old Oliver Tree video, I appreciate you. Welcome back. You know what's T. You know by the title of the video, Oliver Tree just dropped his second album titled Cowboy's Years, okay? This is a new genre i'm not gonna play with oliver we love oliver we love what he stands for we love his lyricism his production is nasty and we love his fucking gimmicks okay i love this man so you know i had to dive into this album period all right if you're new here be sure to like be sure to share and be sure to subscribe subscribe to be a part of my kingdom because we do videos like this all the time let's get that 600 and something subscribers all the way to a thousand and something i appreciate every last one of you guys we're all there out the way i'm ready to dive into this album i'm ready to see what it's giving let's get into oliver tree's sophomore album titled cowboy tears the first song on this album is one we heard before. We saw the video as well. If you want to get my full reaction to that, I'll put it in the description below. But I will listen to this again just so I can get the entirety of the album through my first listen. I'm not good at goodbyes. I miss the sunshine. Come on, baby, let's take one last ride. It's too much, I can't take anymore. Hey! Just an outlaw. Yeah, this is my part right here. This, this is my favorite part. I'm not good at goodbye. Hey! Yeah. Alrighty, that was the first song on this album titled Cowboy Tears, a song we already heard before, but I had to listen to it again because it's fucking, it's the album time. It's album mode, okay? We're in album mode, alrighty? Let's keep listening. The second song on this album is titled Swing and a Miss. This song has a video, so we're going to jump into the video and see what it's giving. Everybody's thinking about all the things they're missing out. If you wait all way, I'll go. Okay. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> Making out with this old lady. They went into this motel room. I'm confused. <laughs> you lied. She did. She did that. Oliver R.I.P. Oh. oh my god oh. He makes this damn lady he misses this song. Alrighty, that was the second song on his album titled Swing and a Miss, the music video. This was definitely funny. He's definitely gonna give you something with the videos that draws your attention and makes you be like, what the fuck is he going? What the fuck does he have going on? Okay, that's just what he gives you. This song was funny. The video was hilarious, okay? Oliver Tree is missing this lady. He is in love and by her dying and while they were getting married, that's so sad. While they were about to get married, she died. She croaked. Yeah, yeah. This song is definitely going to my playlist though. I do like the I do like the production and everything like that. I'm feeling this, okay? Let's keep listening. The third song on this album is titled Get Well Soon. I saw the devil in your eyes all the time. I really miss you. I'm so sorry. I can't fix it. What can I do? I <sighs> she wait, okay, this this really like that that really when I pause, bitch, it's like bitch, let me pause because I can't take the lyrics at the moment. Like it cuts too close to home. You know what I'm saying? I'm adding this to my playlist. <laughs> yeah. Hey. 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 Dang. 
Damn. Alrighty, that was the third song on this album titled Get Well Soon. This is actually one that might be one of my favorites at the moment. Okay, Get Well Soon, we talking shit. We're, com we're coming for throats, okay? I miss you, but I can't fix you. My favorite part of the song has to be when he, when he goes to, I really miss you, but I'm sorry, I can't fix you, okay? You too much, you too much, and you're less than what I'm looking for at the moment, okay? I hope you get well soon. I'm not trying to build you up and make you the person that you need to be, that I need you to be, okay? I really miss you. I'm sorry I can't fix you. I hope you get well soon. And that's real motherfucking shit. This song was short, okay? The production was almost as long as the actual song was, but this is one that I can, I can fuck with. The fourth song on this album is titled Freaks and Geeks. It's a music video, so let's go ahead and dive into that. I'm a weirdo, I'm a freak, no matter who I try to be, I change my life, I change my way. Hey! Yeah! Yo, that production, that's nasty. He started it. Move his ass out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, production is nasty. Production is nasty. That was the fourth song on this album titled Freaks and Geeks, the official music video. And I love this concept. The production is what got me the most. The production is sickening. The switch up on the production like halfway through, you know, I love that. I love the switch up on that. The message behind it, the freaks and the geeks, all of us like, yeah, I'm weird. Yeah, I'm this and that and I'm crazy and obnoxious and they love that. I do this for the people who don't really talk and that. He's like, I'm this way for a reason and I love that. That makes me like the song even more. Oliver is doing this for a reason. He's doing this for the people who don't express themselves or who gets called weird and everything. He's like, fuck that. I'll be weird for the Oliver's. Y'all fucking, y'all can fucking listen to me and I can express it for everybody. And that's one of the reasons why I gravitated to him because he doesn't give a fuck. Like me. The fifth song on this album is titled Doormat. Mm. Eliba, that's what I'm saying. Motherfucking talk to that person. Take your motherfucking power back. Let that hoe know that you not the one. Oliver, yes. I'm done living in your own house. Yeah. I'll let you take it out on somebody else. How come you fell with that? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Goodbye for now, goodbye forever. Yo, Oliver, and I love how he just switches it up. He's like, Oliver, it's singing a little bit. I fucks with that. Goodbye for now. Bye, bitch. Goodbye for hey. now, but we really don't need to hey. pretend. You won't see me again. You, you won't see me again. You can see me on my YouTube screen, but that's it. <laughs> that was the fifth song on this album titled Doormat. I love this song so, so much. It was instantly added to my playlist and I was already singing the lyrics with the beat. Like I know, like it's gonna be the first song that I learned from this. In this song, Oliver's talking about he doesn't like the way that this person is treating him. He is constantly getting into arguments. They're constantly yelling and fighting with each other. And he says that he can't take it anymore. He would rather leave. He's like, goodbye for now. No, goodbye forever like he is done and i get that he's like you'll never see me again and sometimes that's all you need to do to a bitch is let them know that you're untouchable you're unreachable and they're just something that was in the past the sixth song on this album is titled suitcase full of cash bring in those suitcases full of cash keep them coming too much to your bank Let it burn, laugh it off, 
what a joke, watch it. What you saving for? And what are you becoming? Mm, it's Such true. People are so poor that all they have is money. Mm, I like that. If you're rich or you're broke, we don't care how much you own. That was the sixth song on his album titled Suitcase Full of Cash. I love this song because he's like, I don't care how much money you make, but we don't care about how much money you make, okay? I love the lyrics. Some people are so poor that all they have is money, okay? I love that because people make it seem like money is the biggest thing, but all you have is money. You don't have no love. You don't have nobody to stick beside you. You don't have nobody who's going to ride or die for you. I never want to aspire to be like that. I always want to have the people that always been behind me, behind me in my life. Like if I have money, it's nothing compared to having my loved ones next to me. Seriously. The seventh song on this album is titled Cigarettes. Walking up the house with a pack up in my hand, ten cigarettes for lunch, ten for dinner, goddamn. Light the whole pack up, I smoke them by the bunch. Damn. Me up with cancer. Okay, and let me just say, like right now, I don't gravitate to any of these lyrics because I don't smoke cigarettes, but the production is nasty and sick, and I am fucking, I'm tuned in, I'm here, and I'm present. <laughs> Yeah. I smoke too much, baby, I'm dying for Yeah. Oliver! Let me just say, I don't support these lyrics, but this motherfucking beat is. Hey, 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 Oliver, bitch, you know what you're doing and you know what you want in your music, and that's why I fuss with you, okay? Because you like, this is what we're doing. I don't care what they say. I don't care if they don't like this. I don't care if it's gonna be top the charts. I fucks with you. Trust. <laughs> the day that I'm dead. I smoke too much. Baby, I'm dying from this. They call me Ashtray Brown. Baby, I'm dying from this. Alrighty, that was the seventh song on this album titled Cigarettes. And I absolutely love this song. I don't smoke cigarettes. I've never smoked a cigarette. I really love this production. I really love this song. And I really feel like, I don't know if Oliver smokes cigarettes or not. He's turning it into a joke, but he's also, he's also addressing it. The fact that you're going to die from smoking these cigarettes every day, okay? You know, it's bad for you. He, he implied that. And... I like that, okay? I didn't think I would like a song about cigarettes and it's like, I fucks with cigarettes. Cigarettes is that bitch, okay? Cigarettes is that motherfucking song. And I love the production in it. I love the production. And I would be singing, I would be singing, I never thought I'd be singing a song about cigarettes, but I'm gonna be singing a song about cigarettes. Like it's in my playlist. I'm gonna be singing this. I fuck with it. <laughs> I really do. I fuck with this. The eighth song on this album is titled Balloon Boy. Running for my life while I'm bleeding Alrighty, that was the eighth song on this album titled Balloon Boy. In this song, he's just saying he's here for the ride, okay? I don't know what ride he's talking about, but he's like, he's just here, okay? He's not gonna be in your life, he's just here for the ride, he's just here for a good time. And this is another song, it's like, I'm listening to a song about balloons at this moment. Like, Oliver Tree is motherfucking, he's fucking a musical genius. I don't care. If y'all are not feeling this, I'm sorry, I'm feeling this. I'm into it. The ninth song on this album is titled Things We Used to Do. I don't see you with your way. Oh, 
boy, that's the lyric. That's the lyric. That's the lyric. That's motherfucking something that you think about all the time, no matter who it is. Oh my gosh, have you? Do you ever think you'll see me again? Have you found somebody else instead? Will you realize what you missed when I'm dead? Yes, they will, Oliver, because you will realize, bitch, and they mad. And then they're going to realize when you gone, they're going to realize that they should have done you better, that they had something good. It's always like that. But don't miss me when I'm gone, okay? If you don't give me my flowers while I'm here, I don't want no flowers on my grave, okay? Darling, I saw you. Yeah. I miss the things we do. you miss me too? That was a nice song on this album title, Things We Used To Do. I really, really like this song. He's missing this relationship. He's missing the things that they had going on back in the day. He's asking how long should he wait for this? How long should he be waiting for this person? That's so sad. He's missing everything that they have going on and everything that they did in the past, he keeps reminiscing about. The 10th song on this album is titled California. Alrighty, that was the 10th song on his album titled California. I love it was just singing about him loving California, him wanting to die in California, him wanting to be buried in California. And this is his hometown, the place that he lived his whole time. I feel that way about Louisiana, so I get that. The 11th song on his album is titled Playing With Fire. Don't look my way. From my view, it don't look so great. But baby, don't call me a liar. Come on, production. Hey, hey, we move. Hey, <laughs> we moving for real. Hey, Oliver, run that shit back. Run that shit the fuck back, Oliver. Hey, 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 hey. Bitch, I'm finna fucking get up and dance. <laughs> Bitch, I'm finna get up and dance. Hey, hey, hey. Don't call me a liar, bitch. That was the 11th song on this album titled Playing With Fire. I'm gonna be real, I'm keeping it buck. I don't know what the fuck Oliver was singing about, but that production was nasty. I was hooked, okay? This might be my number one. And not because of any ly lyricism or anything like that. It's just from that production. Bitch, I was able to, I, I wanted to throw it back. I don't even do that. Y'all, this, <laughs> it got me. Oliver got me with this one, okay? I folks for Playing With Fire. This is the most upbeat, like, hard-based song that we have on this album. The 12th song on this album is titled, The Villain. What are you waiting for? I can't take anymore. What do you really need? Come on. I've seen your hearts do. Just don't make me out to be something that I'm not. I'm not a villain. That was the 12th song on his album titled The Villain. And in this song, I love this, okay? Let me just start out by saying I love this. He's like, I'm not the villain, I'm not the bad guy, I don't have no master plan or anything like that. Don't act like it was just me. We both went at each other, we both done things to each other. Don't make me out to be the bad guy, okay? Because I'm not the bad guy. I'm just somebody who fucking protected themselves just like you felt like you was protecting themselves. But don't call me a villain, don't call me a monster. Don't make it seem like I just went out my way to harm you. I get that. Oh, Oliver. Bitch, we here. Bitch, we. I mean, out of a boys. Fuck what you talking about. Fuck what your mama got to say. We here. I fucks with that. The 13th and final song on this album is titled Cowboy Tears. 
Okay to cry. All that toxic masculinity is fine. Cry a little bit. Hey. Alrighty, that was the 13th and final song on this album titled Cowboy Tears. This was another song that was upbeat and none that I can feel with, okay? The lyrics that gravitated to me the most on this song was even if you're alone you can help yourself out. Stick it out. Don't give up now. Even if you're alone you can help yourself. I beg you Please, would you put the gun down? You're standing at the edge, and I hope you don't jump. <sighs> I've been there before where I felt like these lyrics, and the fact that this is on the end of the album, and he's saving this. It's like Oliver Tree's carriage. He can be about gimmicks. He can be about, you know, he can be childish, and he can be very immature, and all this stuff. Whatever you have to say, he cares. He just has to talk through his music and through his videos, and it's not always going to make sense to us, but... The majority of the the core of it is the lyrics. The core of it is the music behind it. Not the videos, not the gimmicks on Instagram and all this stuff. The music. And that's why I love Oliver Tree. That's why the, the lyricism is why I love him. The production and the gimmicks are funny as hell. The lyricism is what made me become a fan of Oliver Tree in 2020. Seriously, okay? Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Let me know what you thought about this album from beginning to end. What was your favorite song, okay? Speaking of favorites, this will be my favorites here. I already nobody should be offended from this list. One through 13, amazing album, okay? I'm gonna be playing this album out throughout the rest of the year. That's how strong I feel about this album, okay? If you have not checked it out, go and check it out. Come back and let me know what your favorites on this album was, okay? Oliver Tree, you did your thing. Make sure you're up and subscribe on Oliver Tree as well. Make sure you're following him on Instagram so you can be aware whenever he's dropping new music, just like me, okay? But if not, make sure you're subscribed to Team The King. We do reactions to this all the time. Oliver Tree, Demi Lovato, Megan Thee Stallion. But we do everybody on this channel. So go watch some more of my videos. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to be part of my kingdom because I would love to have you guys here, okay? This is a safe place for all kings, all queens, non-binaries. We all can connect and gravitate on music, alrighty? Thank you guys so much once again for clicking on this video. I appreciate every last one of you. Be sure to stay blessed, stay humble, and I'll see every last one of you in the next video. You have to change up the game. Oh, the way